Hey everyone, this is about the Elgato slash Corsair 4K capture link USB device. It's new late 2018 December. I got it in January 2019. It it's, looks physically exactly like the previous 1080p model. And the only way you can really tell apart, at least on the one that I got compared to my old one, is that it has Corsair incorporated instead of Elgato on the back. Corsair bought Elgato. So why am I doing this video? There is very limited information out about this product in regards to support. You can find it. There's people doing videos. They all seem to be sponsored by uh, Elgato. Um, but what do you do when you run into problems? I ran into problems in that even though I had 4K cameras, I could not get it to output or input into the computer at 4K. It was only at 1080p. And so what that means is I have, let's just set up what it is. So it's USB 3.0 to the computer. It has an HDMI cord that you have to buy separately. Standard HDMI here to the device, to the back of a camera. This is a micro. Um, HDMI, so you need to make sure you get the right one, micro. I have a Sony A6300 here. I have two GoPros, including <coughs> the GoPro Hero 7 Black, the newest one, and a Sony 4K uh, GoPro equivalent. And so I couldn't get it to work in 4K. You, you, number one, when you're troubleshooting, you have to download the Elgato 4K Capture Utility. If you're upgrading from a previous one, you may have already had the software, the Game Capture software. That will not work at 4K. My device worked fine at 1080p, but again, that's not what I wanted to record at. So make sure you get the right software. Make sure you have the right USB cord. So these have been out for a while, uh, but you need to make sure the cord is labeled with 4K. It has the capability of doing 4K. Um, I tried a couple cords. I tried a couple computers. This is a desktop. I've tried it on the laptop. Couldn't get it. I tried uh, different cameras. Sony, you know, again, that can do 4K. The GoPros uh, and, and this one, the, the Sony 4K GoPro. So, uh, try the computer, try the cord, um, make sure you set your camera to be able to uh, HDMI out at 4K. The, the Sony, you have to go into the menus and make sure you kind of set it to output through the HDMI channel. The GoPros have the same, it's really easy to, to set up, you can do it um, Either way, through the camera menu, I, I'm trying to remember, I don't think I saw it through the phone app right away, but at least in the camera menu you can here. And, and the Sony here, I didn't have to do anything, I just plugged in the cord. So what what's the issue? So so if you go to the Elgato website, and they have the supported cameras for this capture link device. And that mainly focuses on the ability to send out clean HDMI that you know you don't have the the imprinted menus in your feed to the capture link and so there it's a pretty good website around which cameras um, would be supported these, these are all on the supported list so I you know should be all good right well what really happens is that if you dig deep through the internet on GoPros turns out the HD7 even though it's on the Elgato supported camera list for the capture link, it does not send HDMI output at 4K. So that's why, again, after trying different computers, trying different cords, it's the GoPro. It doesn't produce 4K through HDMI. So every single GoPro I have is, I can't get higher than uh, 1080p. So what's the deal with the, the Sony? The Sony should have worked right away. This is a mirrorless 4K camera, has great 4K quality. It's 
you know, it's super easy for this camera to do 4K. So I, I plug it in, turn it on, turn on the 4K capture utility, nothing. It's still at 1080p. It looks great at 1080p, but I want 4K. That's why I bought it. My old one could do that, right? Just 1080p. So again, diving through the internet, um, looking at specs and very limited information, certainly not on the Elgato website. The Sony doesn't send 4K output unless you hit the record button. That may be, seem obvious to, to you, but it runs 1080p and captures the capture link no problem. You have to hit the re record button. So once you do that, it will show up in the 4K capture link um, with 4K output. That's a little cumbersome, um, very cumbersome, because I don't really want it to record to the memory card. Um, it uh, So that's what that problem was. It's again, the camera, you have to hit the record button, all kinds of concerns I have around that. Um, then lastly, this one. Who would have thought that this several year old GoPro equivalent from Sony camera, you plug it straight in into the micro HDMI slot and it produces 4K video on the Elgato. So between all the GoPros, this one, the bigger Sony, this is the one that's easiest to use. It's it looks better than a webcam, but I lose the changing lenses and all that stuff. So it's kind of a bummer. It's, you know, you have to think about what you're going to use this for. Um, it's not ideal to record all the time, like I said, but it is what it is. This is the easiest to use. Very disappointed on the GoPros. Um, what else can I say? I have not been able to get it to record at 4K yet through the 4K capture utility. So writing it to disk, you know, it'll input at 4K. I can see it, but I, for some reason it's just using these shortcut files. Um, I'll play with OBS more. Um, so if you're having problems, hopefully this video helped. I put in a support request for to Elgato several days ago. It's probably been three days at this point. No response, nothing. They don't have any forums. Reddit was the best forum I found for this, but I didn't get any, I got some help, but not, it didn't solve the problem. So luckily I was able to figure it out today. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.